So, um, I want you to imagine it's 1919. World War One has, you know, a few months earlier. Um, it was the end of the end of World War One, and really, what kind of place Liverpool was like at that point? Um, so many men hadn't returned from the the war. There was crushing poverty in the city, and there was no safety net. So you had families that literally had nothing, and there was no safety net to to catch them. And that was really the beginning of PSS. Um, uh, an amazing woman called Eleanor Rathbone just saw that something needed to change, and she and other people in the in the city came together and formed PSS. And in very simple terms, we were set up to see a need and find a way to help. So where there was no safety net, to look at ideas that would provide that safety net. And actually, PSS has been really quite radical from the very beginning. We had um, a woman as our chair, Eleanor Rathbone, and we also had a woman as our the equivalent nowadays of our chief executive, a woman called Dorothy Keeling. And she was a woman that was paid for what she did, which actually back in 1919 to have a pay woman at the head of an organization was really you know really really quite different and in the course of our history PSS has is able to lay claims to a whole number of firsts so we were there at the beginning of what is now Age UK um, the uh, the old people's welfare committee as it was called we were there at the beginning of legal aid um, formerly known as the poor man's legal service um, but now uh, now legal aid we were there at the beginning of Citizens Advice Bureau um, and also one of the first housing associations. So, you know, this was a point when there was only either you know, people privately owned their own homes or, um, or there were private landlords and so often it was about slum landlords. Um, and PSS was there at the beginning of one of the first social housing organisations in the UK. And relatively more recently, 40 years ago, um, but we were there at the beginning of Shared Lives and Shared Lives continues to be very much part of what we, uh, what we do today. And so we've got so much in terms of our history, in terms of you know, the beginnings of our story of which to be proud, but actually what makes us most proud is the work that we do today, helping people to really make big changes in their lives.